Do you ever get bored and feel like being crafty but don't want to spend your money? I'm going to show you an inexpensive way to make a picture frame out of cardboard. First, I'm going to show you all the materials you need and how to set up a working area to keep everything clean. Second, I'm going to show you how to cut and make the frame. And last, I'm going to show you a way to decorate it. If you want to be crafty without the costly expenses, this should be on your to-do list. You'll need a cup of water, a paintbrush or a sponge, napkins, a paper plate, a pencil, ruler, and box cutter, paint, glue, newspaper, and three pieces of cardboard. First, you're going to need to clear the table and lay down your newspaper. Get the biggest piece of cardboard and the top piece that you want to be your frame. Take the picture, lay it down on the cardboard and trace it. After you're done, get your ruler, measure in about a fourth to a half an inch inside the line that you just traced all around. After you're done, take your box cutter and cut out the inner rectangle that you just traced. After you get done cutting, you should be able to just pop it out. Right now, you have a, a rectangle picture frame. I, pre I personally prefer the square ones, so I am take about an inch off each side. And then cut it with your box cutter. After you get done, this is something of what it should look like. You're going to need to take the back piece of your frame and measure it up, line it up at the bottom with the ones you just cut. Trace your line across the top so you can make them the same size. Cut that as well. After this, you're done with the cutting. It should look like this. You're going to need to get your glue. I found the hot glue works the best, but Elmer's glue works as well. Apply a thick layer down both sides and the bottom. Don't put any on the top whatsoever. After you're done, press it on the back piece really hard so it'll stay. You gotta try to, if you're doing it with hot glue, you have to kind of do it fast before the glue gets cold too. Okay, this is what it should look like. After the glue is dried, you can get your painting materials ready. 
this is how I painted mine. I have this, I use this sponge with red, pink, and purple paint. All I did was just get a little on the end and just dab it up and down all over the all over the cardboard, all around. And then you have to remember to rinse and dry it thoroughly before switching colors because if you don't, it'll mix the colors and it just won't look that good. Also, if you want to hang it, like I have this one, you can get string or ribbon, anything really. I have this chain stuff that my grandmother got for me. You can cut a piece off about this long take to both ends of the back, put glue on each end and hold it there for about 10 seconds. And then after you glued it on there, put more, put like a, just a drop of glue on top just so it holds it on there. And after that, it will look like this and hang on a wall or wherever you want. Always remember to get a good working area so you can keep everything clean and stop from being hurt. Paint and glue can get very messy. Also make sure the measurements are right before you cut because if not it can mess up everything and you'll have to start all over. It's also very important that you remember not to put any glue on the top of the frame so the picture can just fly down in there. Also remember the sponge. If you use the sponge, please rinse and dry it thoroughly or it will just mess up everything. Hopefully this gives you something to do on a boring day without costing you an arm and a leg.